Hi everybody, how you doing? I am doing good. Very good tonight. Finally can get back to some painting. Got all my priorities done, so. I have, what is this one? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm always prepared. <laughs> I think I'm gonna guess a nine by 12. Nope. 11 by 14. Yep. Which is good because I want to get a, a bigger sink drain. That's what it is. It looks sturdy because the outside, yeah, I don't take my time scrubbing every spot off. So, it is what it is. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to put on a base coat here. Get started real quick here make up some of my black I have already mixed up. This is Artist Loft Flow. Okay. And could have done this ahead of time, but and hopefully our camera will. So what I do is very lightly. I do not waste a lot of paint here. A lot of people may think I am, but I'm not. I will get my edges because I like my edges real pretty. It's one reason why I put the sticks on my canvases so that I don't smudge them up. I'm not squirting the bottle. <clears throat> get my edges first. I don't have to mess with them. I do it. I just did that big pour, so I have a mess. Yeah, it's pretty hot here in Arizona right now, so it's in the evening though, but I have my air going so yeah I just want a base coat does not have to be thick. As a matter of fact, I don't want it to be thick because then you save whatever your comes out with your sink drain. You can save it even better. You don't have to stretch it a whole lot to get rid of all that paint so it's not thick. So hopefully this will stretch. I know I'm up very close and it's hard to see. That's, I'm just spreading the paint. And I'm going to use some leftovers that I just did that big one with. There we go. See? Just about perfect. Did not waste a lot of paint there. Kind of center back in the middle. Doesn't matter really because it's all going to flow off anyway. Just helps it to flow. And if I want to leave some negative space, you know, it's good to have the black in the background. Alright, let's get started. Let's have some fun. I'm going to go ahead and put this right in the middle. i got to stand up to see it. Look at my hair. <laughs> hey guys, can you see me? <laughs> 
You can always see through black in a way. Anyway, if you see that, that like dust, little white in it, there's always that little blue purple mark too right there. Um, that's the full draw you're seeing. So, okay, here goes. Center as best as I can, and I think that's good. I think so. All right. Not using any white. I'm using the same colors that I just did that dirty pour with. Something tells me that's a little bit. Looks good. Looks like it's centered. Okay. So all this is just my paint that's in my bottles. Give it a little good. This is the light blue. And they're all mixed with the two parts. Floetrol, paint, and water. Hopefully we don't have any tilting in the wrong direction. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, if it's not level, it'll go off too far on one side, and not the other. It looks like it's going off more on that side. So what I'm going to do is just put a little stick here. Maybe that'll help a little. No, it's not helping much at all, really. All right, we'll just leave it alone. All right, let's go with the... Right, but so I gotta remember the order I go in. Keep it going in that order. Then I'm gonna go with the turquoise, which always shows up lime green in my camera for some reason. <laughs> then I wanna go. The purple. Then I want to go magenta, which never shows up. It sinks. <laughs> and I am going to go black. am I forgetting? Oh, the uh, midnight blue. I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to go with the light. Blue, then the midnight blue. Okay. So I'll just keep going in that order. Okay, looks like it's not stretching too much different. Looks good. Always keep an eye on it, make sure you're getting together there. There's no silicone in here. Hopefully I won't get no cells. Probably will though. A little bit, maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. 
Yes, a nice quiet evening. Funny that ma a magenta I always put a lot too and it still doesn't show up much. Alright, one more here. I think that's good. I don't want to stretch it too much. Put a little bit of the magenta in the middle, which is not going to show, but and turquoise. There. Okay. Look it, there was a clog in my strainer. What a bummer. I seen that one not coming out that end. Don't see it in the strainer at all. That's all good. Kind of a bummer, but we haven't stretched it yet, so we'll see. Let's give it a torch because we've got some bubbles. There we go. That's a bummer. But it's all good. But you know what I'll do this time is I'll just go from the outside in. Kind of just mess with it that way. since those lines were there. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we can see a little bubble right in there too. There we go. So, we're going to have to stretch this, guys, if you're wondering why we're not keeping it, because it will crack. So we're going to go ahead and stretch it back and forth. It's going to be pretty. Go on this side now. Always bring it back to the middle. Isn't that pretty in the middle? Oh, it's pretty this way. I'd like to just keep it there. Hmm. Let me look at my paint. Yeah, too much paint. When you see it flowing like that, you just have a little too much. So now I'm going to go the corners. To eliminate some of that leave always a little black whatever base coat you're using there we go it's slowing down now so that's good 
This could be pretty. That turquoise is showing up lime green again. If you watch enough of my videos, you'll see that's happening quite a bit. My light. Oh, that's so pretty. We're going to leave it alone pretty soon, guys. We're just getting rid of some of the paint. <laughs> I always watch these videos and start freaking out on the people. I'm like, no, leave it alone. Uh, you have to stretch it. All right, should be the last one here. Because it's looking good. Right on. I always like that corner type. Look, I love that on the corner. I really do. Always love that corner look. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Let's look at it this way. Oh my goodness, is that beautiful. You guys in view here all the way? Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that alone on the edge. Down in the corner. Do you agree? I do. I do, I do, I do. That's what makes it unique and cool. I love having the blue around it too in here. This is beautiful. I, I don't even want to mess with it. All I want to do is put a little tiny stone right in the middle. And that's it. Let me find my little stones here and see if I have any left. See, I use a little tiny, um, what do they call them, studs and stuff. I have one more big one left. And hopefully this will not sink in the middle. Um, it might. It's not that deep, really. It was only this deep. See, that's how you can tell, too, how deep it is. This is good. Good. It'll dry wonderful. But I like to put these little studs right in the centers instead of putting something. And I'm not even going to draw that in. I like it the way it is, you know. If I draw this a little bit. Ooh, should I guys or no just leave it alone <laughs> oh, let's just draw it in a little bit sometimes it gives it more of that you know it brings the flower in like looking like a tulip or whatever you know what I'm saying it draws it in, gives it some depth. There we go. Now, yeah, what I'll do is I'll work at the middle just a little bit. Take a dry stick and just keep dabbing it to pick up your paint in the middle. That way it's not real deep. It's looking good too. Oh, I love it. I love these. All right, let's put that little stone in the middle and hope it don't get buried. There it is. And if it gets buried, you know what? You can always put another one in there. Or, yeah, you can take it out, put another one in. It's not going to get buried, though. So let's do a close-up shot here. I 
love it. And it's not getting buried, so that's great. And then once it dries too, it'll resurface. But it's not going to bury, so we're good. Can't believe my magenta showed up. Well, it it definitely proved me wrong for once, didn't it? Look at the magenta and then there's the purple. Of course that looks lime green, but it's not. It's turquoise. Love it. Love, love, love this one. So pretty. All right. Well, that's it for this one. And it's a success and it's beautiful. I love, I'm glad I put that black right there in the center to, to you know, bring that just all in together. It's just gorgeous. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or evening. It's evening for me. I'm going to go clean up, and then I'm going to kick back, watch some movies, check out my YouTube, other stuff I like to watch. Boy, I get into all kinds of stuff you guys have. <laughs> I'm sure you do, too. I scroll through everything. Yeah, check out the news on CNN, all that good stuff. So, All right, so take it easy. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to. That would be awesome. I appreciate all of you guys watching. I'm not posting as much as I was before. Not every day. Cause just trying to take it easy a little bit on the too many paintings. <laughs> they start to add up. So, yeah. I'm working, kind of taking it easy a little bit more. Not pushing myself every day. So... But I'll try to every other day, something like that. So I will never forget about you guys and sharing these videos with you. I love it. That's how I learned, and it's super easy. These are these are awesome. These strainers. So, all right, guys, take it easy. Bye bye now.